Hey, hi, everybody. My name is Ben Antier. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Publica. Publica is a connected TV advertising platform that helps publishers do two things, maximize their revenue and deliver an exceptional TV viewing experience. First of all, we're super excited that this spec is in public comments right now. Uh, we've been working on it for a very long time with many different uh, people in the in the ad tech ecosystem. So very happy that it's uh, it's finally in the public comment stage. Um, Adser 2.0, to put it simply, is a set of um, authentication protocols that are going to be used to combat ad fraud. Gener in, a, in a general sense, the goal is to say, a lot of our industry is moving to server-to-server -server interactions, and we need to have systems in place to secure those interactions. Um, one example that I often take is if you look at the banking world, today you can do all sorts of things through online banking, right? You can send a wire, you can receive money, um, and there's a lot of security protocols that enable that to happen at scale. In ad tech, Adser 2.0 is the, the foundation of security for server-to-server -server ecosystem. And we'll dive into all of the technical de details, but at a high level, that's what it does. If you think about how the ad tech digital ecosystem works, it's there's very often and, and pretty much always a server that's sending information to an, another server, right? This information might be a request for an ad, it might be a billing notification, it might be a pixel, a tracking pixel. Um, and in some cases, the initiator is not a server, it could be a client. But um, the, the importance is that there's a sender and a receiver. And so what we are trying to do with that cert 2.0 is give a way for the emitting server to authenticate itself to the receiving server. So there's the idea that we want to we want to prove that the origin is valid. And then the second piece is about tampering prevention. So we want to make sure that the information that's being sent hasn't been tampered with. And so to do that, we use cryptographic security. So very often just a, a, a signature uh, using a, a public and private key system uh, to make sure that the, the emitting server is um, authenticated and to make sure that the information that's sent is, is valid and has not been tampered with. It's very important for CTV, but maybe before even we talk about CTV, I think in general, ad tech lacks in transparency. And so the idea here is that you're, you're un enabling more transparency in the system because you're forcing servers that communicate to each other to, to, to actually authenticate and handshake before they do. So I think it's it's about transparency. We've seen that you know we can do a lot of things in ad tech. There's a lot of value that can be created, but we do need to be more transparent about how things work and who's who's buying, who's selling, and and all of that. Now, for a long time, we could rely on client side to do a lot of that, and that created all sorts of problems. You know, pages were a bit slow because now you had all sorts of JavaScript running on the page to make sure that the information being sent is valid and every ad tech vendor out there was collecting the, the data they needed. Um, with the advent of CTV, we're seeing that a lot of this is moving to the server side, meaning that you're no longer writing JavaScript on a, on a TV. What you're doing is actually sending the payload once to a server and then everything else happens server side. So, that's why it's becoming even more important now to have standards that enable for server-to-server -server security because a lot more of the ecosystem is based on that. And I think you know it started with CTV, but something like server-side ad insertion is now being adopted everywhere, right? It's not just about the connected TV uh, ecosystem. It's happening on mobile, desktop. And so that's why it's very important that we secure these, these notifications from one server to another, particularly when it comes down to billing notifications, right? If you think about how the whole system works is you have a, a server that is firing a pixel saying, I've delivered an ad, and that's how everybody gets paid, right? So if you can't trust that initial server that they are actually, you know, who they say they are and that they did deliver an ad, then 
um, then the whole system can get spoofed. And so that's that's why it's really important today is as we move to the server to server world, we have as an industry to, to up our game from a, from a security standpoint. Initially, there is a, a, an idea, right, that's put out there that there is a need for this type of, of um, spec. And then really what, what makes it a reality is there's companies and more importantly, people that spend, you know, met every Thursday for the past year uh, and that started with, hey, you know, how would we go about fixing this issue to writing a first version of the spec and then having other people come in and, and bring um, constructive criticism to it to make it better. Uh, so there's a lot of refinement. There's a lot of, we've actually um, used some existing security protocols that we've just translated into the ad tech ecosystem. So for example, emails have, you know, some pretty standard um, security protocols embedded in them. We've used some of that in this spec. So it's also about just making sure that everybody can bring their background, you know, technical knowledge and uh, to make a, a spec that fits for all use cases, because it's easy if you only have, you know, ad servers and this, you know, designing a spec for ad servers, but that's not what we want to do. We want to make sure that you have, you know, the SSAI providers, the ad server, the SSP, the DSP, the data platforms, measurement providers, all of those companies have to be involved in the design of the spec. And that's why it takes some time because you, you have to get a lot of feedback throughout the process. But what's great is when you, when you come out with, a, with a spec that can, can be adopted by the whole industry, because that's, that's the only way this works is if it actually gets adopted. So, you know, there's a lot of talk about ad fraud and it's never going to be a premium, you know, streaming publisher that creates fraud, right? It's going to be other bad actors that are impersonating them. And so the great news for streaming publishers is you're going to prevent other actors from pretending to be you with this spec because you're, you're going to be proving every single time you're initiating a request, you're going to be proving that this request actually comes from you and contains the right, the right data, right? So that's the biggest thing is you're going to prevent bad actors from, from spoofing your inventory, which means that, you know, the, the actual inventory that's being sold on the marketplace is going to be yours. And so you're going to be benefiting from that. For buyers, it's all about, in improving the trust that exists in the ecosystem. So, um, you know, I think today the, the the shift that we're seeing from linear TV to digital has been much slower than viewers have been adopting these these platforms, right? And so, I think with this type of security protocol, what we're doing is we're we're increasing the trust in the ecosystem, which hopefully will enable more advertisers to to enter the the game. Um, and the other thing that I think is very important is Today in the connected TV ecosystem, there's a lot of transactions uh, that are that are deal based. Pretty much all of them, right? The vast majority of them today, and the reason is that advertisers don't trust the open marketplace to provide the right signals, um, you know, to to provide a, a an optimized supply path. With this spec, I think what we're doing is we're giving a chance for a dynamic real-time bidding based marketplace in CTV, which I'm very excited about because I think that's, you know, that's the future we want to, we want to aim towards. And, um, and I think, you know, having, having the right security layer is, is kind of the, the first step to, to, to um, going towards that. Yeah, so it's not just publishers, it's every single entity in the, in the ad tech ecosystem. I highly encourage you, if you're, if you're in this space, to go to the IAB Tech Lab website to read the spec, um, to share with your tech team. It can be a little technical, so um, you know, we, we, we certainly want to make sure that the, the right technical folks are, are reading it. Please add comments. You know, we, anything that you bring to the table today, um, can be included in this spec, right? That's why we, we, we release it for public comments. So I, I think it's, um, you know, if you're even mildly interested, take the time 
um, because you might bring, you know, a different perspective that we haven't thought about yet. So it's, it's super important. Um, and then I think start to get ready to implement it. You know, this thing is coming out. Uh, it's going to make our, our ecosystem better and stronger. Um, so whether you're an ad tech provider, you know, you're, you're going to need to, to play a part in this. And if you're a publisher and an advertiser, make sure you, you ask your partners to implement this, right? Especially advertisers. If you're um, you know, hesitant about uh, where your budgets are going and, and you know, whether or not uh, you're being impacted by fraud, make sure that all your partners are uh, integrated with ads or 2.0 because that's going to be the key to, to solving this problem.